I get a lot of questions about the fitness and wellness trackers that I use, so I thought I'd share my thoughts on two devices that I particularly enjoy, which are the Apple Watch and the Oura Ring. And specifically, I want to talk about how the two compare when tracking sleep. I was diagnosed with sleep disorder several years ago, and I spend quite a bit of energy trying to improve the way that I sleep. Um, I think both of these do really cool stuff as it relates to sleep tracking, and I wanted to share some of the differences between the two devices. The Apple Watch just came out with Watch OS 7, which introduces sleep tracking for the very first time. Uh, the Aura Ring is a dedicated sleep tracker, and uh, it's got a bit of functionality that the Apple Watch isn't going to have. The Apple Watch does a million things. Uh, it's a computer on your wrist, essentially. You can listen to music and text people. Specifically, I wanna talk about how it tracks your sleep. So I've used it the past few nights, and um, the sleep tracking is, is pretty basic. It'll tell you what time you fell asleep, how many times you woke up in the middle of the night and what time you woke up and it'll add that all together and give you a sense of how many hours you slept over the night. And it'll also give you some trends around whether you're sleeping more or sleeping less or getting to bed uh, or waking up on time. Um, some of the other cool features, it's got a silent alarm. So you tell it when you want to wake up and it gently taps you. This is a lot more gentle and subtle than the previous alarm was, which would just you know vibrate like crazy. The the measurement is is not uh, incredible. I haven't used any third party apps that will take the data and give me more information. I've, I've just used Apple's first party app, and and you're not really getting a whole lot of detailed stuff. The Aura Ring is a dedicated sleep tracker. All it does is sleep and recovery, but it does it incredibly well and provides some more detail than the Apple Watch will provide. It's worth noting that this doesn't do activity, so it's made out of uh, an interesting metal plastic material uh, that scratches up if you lift weights with it or swing some kettlebells. So they actually advise that you not use this thing um, for exercise. It's just for sleep and for measuring how well you're recovering. Um, what the Aura does do incredibly well is gather interesting information about your uh, health and recovery. It's got a bunch of sensors uh, lining the inside, um, including heart rate, motion, and body temperature. It's something that the Apple Watch doesn't have, um, and it's incredibly important, especially during the era of COVID. This will tell you how your body temperature is changing day to day. It's not gonna give you a spot check, but it will tell you if your body temperature is increasing, which might mean that you are getting sick, or it'll tell you if your body temperature is decreasing, which might mean that you are recovering from overworking or from a cold. So I've actually been able to see some upward trends in my body temperature and work really hard to avoid catching a cold. So that's been a very valuable uh, feature that the Aura Ring has that the Apple Watch doesn't have. Another thing that it does really well is just sleep trends. I tend to not think that tracking sleep is very accurate unless you've got like an EKG monitor, so RIP0. But the trends are, are valuable. I can see, is my heart rate going up? day to day is my heart rate going down day to day and uh, that gives me some useful information about how much I should be focusing on, on recovering. Um, the other cool benefit to the Aura is that it's got a very sleek app that's focused specifically on recovery and sleep. So you get all the information that you need about those two things in one app without having to poke around Apple's clunky health app. This thing is collecting tons of information, you know, similar to the Aura, it's collecting heart rate, HRV, movement, but the way it's presented doesn't really provide the same types of insights. So if you don't have an activity tracker, I think it's really difficult to recommend the Aura alone. It's not gonna track your exercise. It's not gonna provide all of the cool features that the Apple Watch does, um, you know, music, text messaging, all the rest. The Apple Watch is a few hundred dollars if you get the entry level model, I think it's maybe 200, 300 bucks. The Aura Ring is really, really good at doing that one specific thing, but at 300 bucks um, without activity tracking, it's hard to recommend getting it on its own unless all you care about is sleep. If you've got the budget and you care about sleep and recovery, I think the Aura Ring is an amazing product. Um, I hope they continue to grow uh, and iterate on what they've built so far. It's giving some insights that I 
you're not gonna get from any other device. So there you have it, Aura Ring versus Apple Watch. If people thought this was interesting, maybe I'll do more of these with some of the other toys that I have laying around my apartment as it relates to improving or measuring my health. Thanks guys.